G'day, Paul here with my mate Colin, we're down by the stream again, called uh, Stoomer's Creek. Nice little spot, but uh, we've got a scripture to read today, and Colin's going to read the first one out of Isaiah. This is from Isaiah 40, uh, starting from uh, verse 25. To whom will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one, and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary, and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on the wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> All right, God. It is good, isn't it? When you look to the Lord. It's in Psalm 121. The psalmist says, I lift my eyes to the hills from where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. And in Psalm 34 verse 5 it says, Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. In Psalm 25 it says, I look to the Lord for help at all times and he rescues me from danger. Psalm 123 to you I lift up my eyes, O oh, you who are enthroned in the heavens. In Psalm 105, look to the Lord and his strength, seek his face always. So it's so important that we look, look to the Lord. In Micah 7.7 7 it says, But as for me, I will look to the Lord. I will wait for God of my salvation. My God will hear me. And in Hebrews 12, verse 2, it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand at the throne of God. And we need to look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. How, how did he do that? In Revelation 1, verse 5, it says, And from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. That's how he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He was the one that endured the cross. He, he says, not my will but thine. He went with the Father's will and offered his body as a sacrifice and by his blood we have been washed clean and cleansed from all of our sins. God has separated our sins as far as the east is from the west and he just loves us if we come to him and proclaim Jesus Christ as our Lord. So that's the uh, message today, look unto him, look to God, lift up your eyes to the hills, look to where your help comes from and your face will be radiant too. There you are, get into the Word, and let the Word of God get into you. See you later. Hallelujah. That's powerful, isn't it, eh? Look unto Him. I like it. You like it? It's our meditation for today. Hallelujah. I'll pack it up. And Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Keep looking to God in the new year. Amen.